Hello, hello, and uh, welcome to another one of my videos. In the last one, I mentioned about uh, this water tower here. So uh, this time round, I'm going to talk about a bit about uh, what goes on with it, and then I'll be introducing a few more door types that I've built. Now, this water tower, I suppose, if I, I like to build things with which are just lots of hidden mechanical things and just hiding stuff. So if you ever arrive on a on the sort of planetary surface surface and you see something like this you think oh yeah that's just a water tower unless you've played this game long enough then you go oh no so let's speed up my flying a little bit now i've got this set so that it works straight away or on a timer let's change that to about five seconds and push that button and run away right there we go so you can see I've got load pistons and rails, just the whole thing folds out. So you can see on the inside I've got two sets of rails, which both trigger at the same time to create a, a nice sort of diagonal movement. And then again the same there for another set. Those are connected to pistons there. So if I go down and trigger it on the inside, if I remember which button actually triggers it. So you can see the pistons push that block up. That's another rail system there I forgot to mention. And then everything slides in. I actually built some of the rails the wrong length. So, hence, so they don't all join together at the same time. I then built these um, Gatling cannons. Uh, just just to have something on the inside really. They don't. I haven't got them wired up for working but uh, yeah. So that's um, this. Open it up again. Whoops. Let's get that. That one's on a timer, so I can actually jump out and then watch it fold up again. There we go. There's the the dubious water tower. So if uh, someone built something similar, they could actually get a working turret in there, so that if uh, they got attacking players or AI, you can just have these uh, open up to, to deploy them from maybe a, a central base if it's possible to do long range connections. But uh, yeah, so that's that's that. I'll uh, now switch across to my different world where the um, the doors are stored and uh, I get right over there. And here we can see I've done three more examples of doors. Now I've explained about these previous ones in a previous video. Um, so it's just these ones. Now this one is nice, nice and simple. I felt inspired because I wanted to have a window going through it. But if you push that and it just simply goes up. That's all it does. Uh, with a very basic rail system there. Um, with this type of door, you do have to make sure that whatever you build has room above. So I got there. Yeah, you can see it goes in. And yeah, that's a nice, fun, chunky door. Just for doing things with. Now this one you can spam and it'll go back and forward. That's alright. Some of my multi-stage builds, like that one over there, that you... If you try and spam the open and close button, it'll just mess all the mechanism up. Now this one, I quite like, but in, there's a bit of a timing issue. So if I push that one, it rolls back. But you can see it spins just the last second for a little bit more. And that's because we can't really set how fast the rails work. If I clear away some of the blocks, there's the rail system. So it's just suspended on a couple of blocks there. And then two sets of rails over there. The controls for which are all hidden in there. So if I get that open again, it can slice back. And it's just two circular halves sitting on a rotary point, which is in there somewhere. So if I bring it out, yeah, you can see the rotary point there. 
Yeah. And as the switching that on, it's just one controls. Uh, whoops. <laughs> Go to the right tool. That one there controls the rotary, and that one controls both the both the slide rails just to go in and out and that's pretty much that one pretty pretty straightforward now up to this one so I spent most of the morning doing so let's trigger this one there we go so lots and lots of moving pieces on this one I even have the floor sliding up to be nice health and safety really because these two large bits you can see how much of a gap that's a that's going to be a real health and safety nightmare i mean if anyone decides to crawl in there to hide and it's uh, yeah floor disappears and then squish and that comes out now this is a nice if i open it up again it's a nice thick door system for four small blocks wide uh, a rail there that controls the top part the entire upper piece here it's got two interlocking or two side by side short rails which are what are pushing out those pieces out once they then are taken down which I think there's another rail system there we go that is what's if I can get close enough to activate it that sends that piece up and down and of course if you're building something like this make sure you've got enough room so that that can all slide up into otherwise it'll all get blocked now if I push the button we can watch all the switches flick as it works it all in turn there we go so that is that that is that uh, the extra doors are done for this one, so it's not really that uh, long a, a video this time. But uh, yeah, I'll keep on keep on experimenting and uh, highlight any new things I find out. So with that, thank you very much, and see you in the next video.